Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Kraj, host on Tech Digest, and today we are gonna compare for you the Lenovo A6000 versus the Micromax U Eureka. Both these phones are 4G dual SIM affordable smartphones, come under a budget of 10,000 rupees, while the Lenovo A6000 comes at a price point of around 7,000 rupees. The U Eureka is priced at around 9,000 rupees. They are both available exclusively online, and they are. one of the best value for money phones that you can buy in the respective price segments without further ado let's get started with our comparison i'll start with display quality comparison the phone that you see on top is the u eureka which comes with a larger 5.5 inch 720p display whereas the lenovo a6000 comes with a 5 inch high definition display so the pixel per inch density is higher on lenovo but the display size is larger on micromax let me play the same video to show you how well they fare when it comes to display quality i said brightness to 50% level on both of these phones the viewing angles are also fairly good the lenovo a6000 has slightly better viewing angles compared to the u eureka which also have good viewing angles but uh, not as excellent as uh, you get on the lenovo a6000 in terms of display quality i am impressed with both and they both provide very nice color production for the price segment they are placed in to give you an idea of the audio quality of these phones i am going to play same track on both of them and will turn the volume to maximum so the volume is set to maximum on lenovo a6000 i am playing this track and then i'll play the same on the u eureka this phone comes with dual speakers with dolby surround software but when i place it on a flat surface the sound gets muffled otherwise the speaker volume is very good and it is very loud let's try the same thing on uh, the u eureka the speakers are again placed at the rear and this is a single loud speaker the volume is almost as loud slightly lower compared to the lenovo a6000 and when i place it on a flat surface it also gets muffled so if you want loud audio the lenovo a6000 has slightly louder audio but clarity of audio is good on both of the phones next i'm going to do a quick camera test so i'll click a picture in automatic mode with both the phones with rear camera as well as front facing camera Now let me show you the results. First thing that you can notice is that the U Eureka is capturing much more in terms of angle from the same distance. It has a lot of details in the selfie, which means that it has a wider angle lens at front. And zooming into the picture, you can see the level of detailing is also slightly higher on the U Eureka, wherein you can uh, go on at a higher detailing level compared to the. Lenovo A6000, which also comes very close. Looking at the rear camera shot, the picture taken with the Lenovo A6000 again has less details in terms of framing compared to the U Eureka that we get here. So, as you can see in a close-up, the clarity is better on the U Eureka compared to the. Lenovo A6000, where it is turning grainy very soon, which means that uh, the 13 megapixel sensor on the rear and the 5 megapixel sensor on the front of U Eureka do a better job compared to the 8 megapixel and 2 megapixel sensors on rear and front respectively on the Lenovo A6000. Talking about the specification, performance, and benchmarks, you can see that there is a clear difference between these two phones. The U Eureka scores thirty one thousand three hundred compared to twenty thousand three hundred that the Lenovo A six thousand scores, and the reason is that the chipset on U Eureka is much more advanced. Qualcomm Snapdragon six one five chipset, which comes with a faster CPU, faster GPU, as well as it gets two GB of RAM compared to one GB RAM that you get on the 
Lenovo A6000. It comes with 1.2 GHz quad-core chipset. It is also a 64-bit chipset but it is slower in terms of clock speed and also has less number of cores. The GPU is also less powerful and it also gets only 1 GB of RAM compared to 2 GB that you get on the UUREKA. In terms of internal memory as well, you get 16 GB internal memory on the UUREKA compared to 8 GB that you get on the Lenovo A6000 out of which you get around 5 GB user available on A6000 and 12 GB user available on the UUREKA. Now let me show you a quick gameplay comparison on both the phones one by one using the Frontline Commando version 3 which is the same game that I am running on these two phones. The gameplay is fast and smooth as you can see here. There is not much of a lag here. The frame rates are very fast here. It is able to play the same game but the frames are a bit jerky here. So as is expected the performance on gaming is better on Eureka. But it is not that bad on the Lenovo A6000 besides having lower specification it is still able to play the game however the frame rates were not as smooth. Talking about the battery life the Lenovo A6000 is part with a 2300 mAh user removable battery whereas the UUREKA comes with a slightly larger 2500 mAh user replaceable battery and they both deliver good battery life. However, Lenovo A6000 with a smaller display as well as a slower chipset gives you better battery life compared to the UUREKA. They both come with expandable memory, they both come with dual SIM support. You can use them with 4G LTE networks but the second SIM is for GSM only and it will not give you 3G or 4G. So they are both very similar in that context but in battery life Lenovo A6000 has a slight edge. Coming up my comparison between the Lenovo A6000 and the Micromax U Eureka, I would say that they both fare very good when it comes to overall performance. However, if you are a fan of smaller phones and want one-handed usage, Lenovo A6000 is something that you should consider. But if you want a larger screen and a faster processor and better performance with a large screen, then the U Eureka makes a lot of sense with Additional 2000 rupees, you get better set of cameras, you get smoother experience, you get uh, better performance in gaming as well as better specifications, more internal memory. But a few things that you lose out on are the battery life, which is not as good as you get on the A6000, and it is not as easy to operate with one hand compared to the A6000, which is fairly compact. They both do very well when it comes to 4G connectivity, they do equally well when it comes to the value for money aspect so it is up to you whether you want a larger screen phone with a better performance so if you are a gamer i would suggest go for you eureka however if you are a person who wants a small compact handy phone the a6000 will not disappoint you at the same time this is all we have on our comparison you can pick either of them from the best buy links i'm leaving in the description section below they are both available online exclusively on flipkart and amazon respectively this is all we have on this comparison we hope you enjoyed watching it don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below and for latest videos and comparisons do press the red subscribe button this is your host rohit khurana signing off thanks for watching